My name is Nathan Arnold. When I'm not with you, I'm leading worship at my home church, New Hope, in Portland. Being from Portland, I'm required to love coffee. So I love coffee. And if you're putting anything in it, you, there's something wrong with you. Coffee is meant to be, uh, to be enjoyed black. I love automobiles, anything cool, vintage or new. Uh, I love four by fours, I love hot rods, I love muscle cars. I was born and raised in Portland, Oregon by two amazing parents, Steve and Levisa Arnold, with my older sister and younger brother. In the fourth grade, I moved from uh, the heart of Portland to a suburb of Portland where we bought four acre, or five acres, and I grew up the rest of my childhood running around in the woods and riding motorcycles and working on cars. and um, Just really, home was the best place to be, and I never looked for anything outside of that. Grew up very active musically in the church, but it wasn't until later uh, in my college years that I really uh, felt a call to the ministry. I was playing bass at a camp, Diamond Arrow, down in Northern California um, when I received my call. And I remember specifically sitting in uh, the main session room with my guitar, no one else around. And uh, for probably one of the only times in my life, so clearly hearing the voice of God say, uh, Nathan, you're mine. I spent years as a youth pastor before I discovered my true calling, uh, and that was to use the gifts and the passion that I had for music to connect people with the living God through worship. Worship to me is so immense. We, we tend to put it in this little box of, it's the three songs I sing on, on a Sunday morning, or the five songs I sing, or it's this album by this artist because he's a worship artist. Um, worship is, is the act of bringing glory to God. When we talk specifically about worship and music, there's just something uh, amazing about music that when we combine it with, with words and intent to praise the living God, we have these beautiful moments where uh, there's this, this collision, as David Crowder puts it, the beautiful collision of the, uh, the earthly and the holy, and the broken and the perfect. We get to bring all of our pain and all of our hurt and all of our doubt and all of our questions and all of our joy and our hope, and, and we get to bring all of these things uh, into an encounter with a living God who says, bring it all to me. My hope for The Crossing is that you would be able to worship more deeply and more honestly than you've ever worshiped before. That you would lay aside your preconceived ideas about what it means to worship and that you would just engage with a living God who is so desperately wanting to interact with you. That you would not worry about your neighbor or whether you're singing in tune or whether you're clapping on beat, but that you would just engage, that you would just let go and enter into the presence of the Almighty God.